Hey everyone, welcome back and in this video, let's just go ahead and review a few reddits and few subreddit posts to take a look at what's going on in the programming world, in the web development world. Let's stay updated with a few news. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. Let's go ahead and start with this one which says developers spend almost two days a week waiting for other developers to review their code. and this. This, this is just an article which goes into depth of like what the headline is but the point here is that it's kind of true and it's kind of necessary till a certain extent because code reviewal is as important as uh, writing code because if you ship bad code if you ship vulnerable code it's just I mean just technical depth building over time which is which will come back to you anyway after some time so you don't want developers on team or you know at least train them which are consistently writing bad code or you know you want your review process to be so strong that no bad code or at least as much as less as possible code goes to production because if you ship code in a hurry and that code is not ready and a code is a critical component of your website or your app then eventually you need to refactor it sometime later and by that time it is possible that maybe the bugs and the quirks that code has introduced are now rather a feature so if you fix that or if you modify that something else breaks so I mean, I totally agree that it might take a lot of time for code review or anything, but that usually could be a good sign as well. It's not always a bad sign. And another log4j vulnerability has been discovered. I mean, this pretty much at this point, I mean, I don't know what to say, but uh, the fact that there were so many log4j vulnerabilities over and over and over again, and one new is discovered again, the remote code execution vulnerability. And this is not like a non-serious vulnerability. It's actually quite serious just shows that how unsecure unfortunately the code was for log4j and i mean obviously it's always hard as a single or a few unpaid maintainers to maintain open source software but this just says that you should be at least be careful when you're using open source software and keep an eye out on latest updates and latest patches and so on because even if you updated log4j a couple of weeks ago and called it a day you see that there is another one now introduced and it's for the better because now the library has been under review by a lot of security researchers and a lot of people have their eyes on it so most probably this would last this would probably be the last vulnerability hopefully but yeah i mean this is just bad at this point i mean i don't have anything to say because it's it's basically the same exploit over and over again just disguised as a different way to execute so yeah i mean if you're running java servers in production you're using log4j you should probably try to use some network level securities as well instead of just patching the binary itself try to restrict your communication from outside servers use firewalls and all that stuff yeah i mean all the best java developers out there okay so this is something new this says this blog post over here says that google chrome is going to get updated to version 100 sometime next month and what's gonna go wrong is that these website builders which you see like duda is, is one of the website builders which they mentioned i did a quick google search and it's like wix and weebly and you know those drag and drop stuff now probably the older versions of these website builders what they did is that they would read your user agent and depending on the version in the user agent they would probably maybe show you a dialog box saying that hey your website or your browser is very old you want to upgrade it to browse this website and it will just not let you browse the website why because if you're probably browsing on chrome version 20 or 30 you're probably using a very old version which does not support a lot of features so instead of actually checking features in javascript itself they do a cheat by just checking the user agent and seeing what the browser version is but the problem with this is that at least this one website builder which they mentioned uses this as the you know as the the user agent and then it will extract out only the first two digits 
of the version of the browser version and this would break with version 100 of chrome because well chrome's 100 version has 10 as the first two digits it will seem to this duda or whatever website builder that hey you're browsing from version 10 of chrome so we won't show you any website contents and i mean it's, it sounds pretty stupid but it's it's probably a hard thing to fix because these numbers and naming and versionings is hard and nobody like really thinks so much ahead of time if you have heard about the y2k bug as well which happened in the transition from 1999 to 2000 this was kind of the similar problem where systems were just built to read the last two digits of the year so 98 99 and then for the 2000 it just went zero zero and it seems like computer were reading from 1900s instead of 2000 which was the next year it's kind of like similar thing not quite but i mean obviously the blast radius wouldn't be that large but yeah i mean there are still a few more months to go before chrome hits chrome 100 hits stable but this would be an interesting thing to see like the number of sites crashing because of this so yep that, that's one news then of course there is es22 which brings in again new features in javascript i guess we have discussed this a bit on this channel already but if not then private instance fields this means you can finally have private variables inside classes itself so that's interesting then you have let's see what else instead of class-based stuff because that is pretty much we have already discussed the top level await is also very interesting because this allows you to write simple scripts which otherwise would require you to write a function an async function and then call that function so yeah i mean top level await is it's, it's interesting at least for the scripting part then there is this new feature which says that hey the error can now include a cause object which would include even more information right now when you throw an error you can only throw a string inside that and you cannot have an object or anything you have to pretty much concatenate everything into a single piece of string now you can attach cause of error which can include more information about it. So that's interesting, but it's still not supported. It's coming in ES22, 2022 version, but yeah. Then we have another dot at method, which allows you to get elements at a certain index. Now, the good thing about this is that you can also specify negative indexes and it automatically handles it for you in the way you would probably handle with an the length of the array minus the value and not super useful honestly it's probably more characters also compared to the usual one if you're using a positive index but for negative index it might be a little easier on the eye then we have a bunch of more features but i want to probably discuss this in a new separate video not in this singular reddit subreddit review but the point being javascript is putting serious work um, i mean starting from es 2015 es 6 that was probably like the turning point in javascript history which changed a lot of things which introduced a lot of new features and it continues to do so over the time so yeah i mean that's that's just an, another addition of a lot more javascript features so yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you got to know some more interesting stuff happening around the world in the world of programming that is all for this one leave a comment below with your subreddit which you want me to review or anything specific which is happening interesting which is happening in today's time and i'm gonna see if we can review that on the next video on the next subreddit review that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code Dump, discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching